Hi everyone, this video is brought to you by the Iowa City Science Booster Club. I'm Sarah DeLong Duhon, and soon you will meet Briante Nayev, and we would like to show you how to use an app called iNaturalist to identify and record plants, animals, fungi, and more. iNaturalist is a nonprofit organization that provides a place to record and organize nature findings, meet other nature enthusiasts, and learn about the natural world. If you want a simpler experience, you can also try their app called Seek. If you're younger than 13, this is a good choice for you. You don't need an account for Seek, but if you do, you can upload to iNaturalist through this app too. The Seek app has a much simpler interface and you can do some cool stuff like participate in challenges and you can also earn achievements and badges. Looks like I need to go observe some birds so I can start getting some badges. The iNaturalist website is full of helpful information and tips, including pictures, videos, and other guides. It's worth taking some time to explore these very valuable resources. Now, watch how Briante and I observed some signs of beaver activity at Waterworks Prairie Park and recorded it using iNaturalist. So the first thing I'm going to do is open up my iNaturalist and my iNaturalist brings me to my page and it shows me all the observations that I have. So what I'm going to do now is click on observe and camera because I'm going to record this possible beaver activity. So. so I took one photo. It's a pretty good idea to take more than one photo. So, go another one. Okay. So I take the photos, I click use photo. And then I can put in a suggestion or iNaturalist will have a suggestion. I don't believe iNaturalist is going to load it. Oh, oh wow. Actually, I naturally did load a suggestion for beavers. It's really impressive. So I'm gonna click on the genus beavers. I have my location down already because I have cell phone reception. And I also have the date and the time recorded. So I'm gonna go ahead and click share and my observation will be eventually uploaded and synced when I have a Wi-Fi connection. So, to get started yourself, the first thing that you need to do is make an account with iNaturalist, and all you need is an email address and a safe password you won't forget. I would not recommend signing up with a Facebook account. You can install the app on your phone, or you can make observations on the iNaturalist website using photos you have loaded to your computer. If you have a camera that isn't associated with your phone, you'll need to use the website. The best thing about iNaturalist is that the observations you make are useful to other people too. Scientists can use your data to make discoveries, and there's a wealth of papers about the research made possible by iNaturalist. Every time you record pictures and other data for an organism, like a lizard or a sunflower, you are contributing valuable data. Here's a really cool example of a discovery made possible by iNaturalist. The recently discovered ocean sunfish species Mola tecta had only been recorded in the southern hemisphere, so when one washed up in a beach in California and people observed it and put it up on iNaturalist, a sunfish researcher was able to find that observation. With the help of iNaturalist users, they could make a confident identification and work with the local university to get samples of the fish. So, I hope we inspired you to get out in nature and start identifying plants, animals, and more, all while contributing to science. Check out the Iowa City Science Booster Club's Facebook page for upcoming events. We hope to see you out in the woods this summer.